Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. This video will be the continuation of the last video where I tried to explain what is virtualization in general and also I tried to explain what is different types of virtualization like network virtualization, server virtualization and storage virtualization. So have you ever thought that what is the backbone of this virtualization industry? It is the hypervisor, which enables this virtualization technology. So let's see what is hypervisor in detail. So before we move in this video, let's see what are the topics I'm going to cover in this video. So the first topic which I'm going to cover in this video will be what is hypervisor. Also, what are the different types of hypervisor currently present in industry? After that, I'm going to cover what is the different benefits of hypervisor we will get and, and at last we will see when to use which hypervisor. So let's see what is hypervisor in detail. So hypervisor is a crucial piece of software which makes the virtualization possible. As I said earlier, hypervisor is the backbone of this virtualization technology. So. So what is the functionality of a hypervisor? The functionality of the hypervisor is to abstract that operating system on which it is running from its physical hardware. Also, the hypervisor creates a virtualization layer that separates the CPU, processes, RAM, network cards and other physical resources from the virtual machine running on it. I will try to explain this particular point in detail in my next slide. So moving on. The machines where we installed this hypervisor is called the host machine, whereas the operating system running on top of these hypervisors are usually called guest virtual machines. If I am seeing from the virtual machine point of view, there is no difference that it is running on a hypervisor or a physical machine. My virtual machine will never get to know that it is running on a hypervisor or any other physical machine. So let's see what are the different types of hypervisor currently present in the industry. There is basically two types of hypervisor currently present, which is type 1 hypervisor and type 2 hypervisor. Let's see what is type 1 hypervisor and type 2 hypervisor in detail in my next slide. So what is type 1 hypervisor? Let's see what is type 1 hypervisor in detail. In type 1 hypervisor, we usually have one server, physical server, which we generally buy from different companies like Dell or Cisco or IBM. Now this type 1 hypervisor we can install directly on this server. Now if I have to install this type 1 hypervisor, I don't have to install any operating system like Windows or uh, Red Hat or any other operating system on this physical server. This type 1 hypervisor I can directly install on this physical server. So there will be no layer between this physical server and this ESXi hypervisors. Now what is the benefit of doing this or what is the biggest benefit we are going to get from this type 1 hypervisor? The job of this type 1 hypervisor is to emulate this physical server so that whatever the operating system we will install on this hypervisor, those operating system will will feel like it is running directly on this server. So suppose now if I have to install any operating system on top of it like Windows or Red Hat or CentOS or any Mac operating system, it will, will feel like it is directly running on this physical server. This operating system will never get to know that there is a hypervisor in between this operating system and the physical server. So the job of this type 1 hypervisor is to simulate this physical server so that all the operating system will think that it will run directly on this physical server. So some of the example of this type 1 hypervisor is ESXi from the VMware, Hyper-V from the Microsoft, Oracle VM from the Oracle. Then we have something called type 2 hypervisor. In this type 2 hypervisor, again we will have a physical server. but my type 2 hypervisor will not directly run on this physical server. There will be one operating system running in between this type 2 hypervisor and this physical server. So you can see I can install any Windows or Red Hat or any CentOS operating system on this physical server. 
on top of this operating systems, I have to install my type 2 hypervisor. So if you see the main difference between this type 1 hypervisor and type 2 hypervisor is this layer, this operating system layer is not present in this type 1 hypervisor. After that, we can again have some virtual machines installed on this type 2 hypervisor, which can be any Windows or Red Hat or CentOS or any Mac OS installed on this type 2 hypervisor. The job of this type 2 hypervisor is seen to simulate this physical server for this operating systems running on this type 2 hypervisor. Some examples of type 2 hypervisor is VirtualBox from the Oracle, VMware Workstation from VMware and Virtual PC from Microsoft. Coming to the benefits of the hypervisor, the biggest benefit we get out of this hypervisor is the data replication. Replication of virtual machine data is very easy if the if the operating system or the virtual machines are running on any hypervisor. Also, we can achieve this desktop virtualization with the help of these hypervisors. Also, the management of these virtual machines are very easy in case if they are deployed on any hypervisor. The installation of these virtual machines are very easy and fast in deployment if it is getting installed on these hypervisors. So we can think of these two things when to use this hypervisor like when to use the type 1 hypervisor and when to use the type 2 hypervisor this type 1 hypervisor is mostly used in the production where the speed of these virtual machines matters a lot like if i have some virtual machines running on this hypervisor i need a very fast performance in case of production environment so if i need a high performance and a scalable environment i will go for my type 1 hypervisor the biggest benefit of it is low overhead because it will directly install on the physical server. Whereas this type 2 hypervisor is mostly used in the educational institution because of its low cost and easy to install. But in type 2 hypervisor, this overhead is very high because type 2 hypervisor is installed on an operating system and not directly on the physical server. So if in brief, I have to tell what is hypervisor. Hypervisor is a critical piece of software for the virtualization industry. What is the job of this hypervisor? The job of this hypervisor is to simulate this physical server for these virtual machines so that each virtual machine can think that they are directly running on this physical server and utilize this physical server on its 100% of capability. Whereas in this type 2 hypervisor, there will be one operating system between the type 2 hypervisor and the physical server. So in this case, there will be an operating system installed on this physical server and, and on this operating system, we will install this type 2 hypervisor. Now all my virtual machines can be installed of this type 2 hypervisor, but the speed for these virtual machines and the speed for these virtual machines will be very different. So this is all about the type 1 and type 2 hypervisor. Hope you like this video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel and stay connected. For time being, have a great day and goodbye.